Hello, I'm Cliff Hall from Cortex with another Snag video. In this edition, I'll show you the delightful interface between Outlook and Acumatica 2018 R2. Let's start by opening up Acumatica and by jumping into our Outlook. Once the integration is installed and set up, in your Outlook, you'll see an icon in the upper right hand corner called Acumatica with the blue teardrop. On the left-hand side, we see some emails that have come in from customers or from people inquiring about our business, and we'd like to put those into Acumatica. Let's start by finding out about the person interested in finding out about Acumatica. By highlighting that email and clicking the icon, Acumatica opens up and allows me to do a couple of things. One is, since it's an email it doesn't recognize, it's going to allow me to create a lead or a contact. In this case, we'll go ahead and create the lead, and all I have to do is click on Create Lead. It's going to tell me that some classes that are inside of Acumatica are going to require a customer. This is not one of those. I'm going to go ahead and put in a position, leave the account blank, the company name will be Test Company, and the source will come from the web. From here, I'll just click on Create the Lead. Once I've created the lead, it will show up in Acumatica. We can find it. Let's take a look at that. Here I can go into my Acumatica and I'll look under the lead section. I see that the one that I just put in called Test Company has shown up. I can confirm what I just put in because I can look at it, see that it came from the web. There's the CEO information, uh, but I don't have any activities yet. I haven't logged the email. So let's take a look about how we can log the email that came in to this lead that was just opened. So inside of Outlook, once we have the um, lead in the system, I can go click Log Activity to record the email to the contact that I just put in the system. By clicking Log Activity, it's going to allow me to click the contact and click Create. Let's see what it looks like inside of Acumatica. Once I've clicked Create, if I go into my Acumatica for my test company, I can see that I have the uh, emails connected to it automatically. So that's somebody who is interested but not yet in the system. What do we do with people that are interested and are still in the system? So we take a look at a second opportunity that we've already created. We created the actual company in the system. That's called ACAL. And we've also created the opportunity that belongs to that, 1138. So going into our Outlook one more time and now clicking on questions about pricing. So this person we've already set up in the system We've already created an opportunity, already told them what the pricing would be, and now they have a question about pricing. So there's a number of things that we can do with that. Once again, after highlighting, I click on Acumatica, and now it understands that I mean Otto Kretschmer is already in the system. He's the CEO of American Colloid Industries. So I can view the contact, view the account, which will be the actual company itself. I can log an activity like before. I can go ahead and create a case. We'll create the case in a moment, but let's take a look at the contact. So for inside of Outlook, I can go into um, Acumatica and see the information and update it just as if I were in Acumatica to start with. I can do the same for the actual account itself. Just for clarification, the difference between an account and a contact is that a contact is subordinate to an account. So the account is really the customer or the prospect that we're talking about, in this case, American Colloid Industries, and a contact is a person who is connected to that particular company. We've already seen how to log the activity, but now we want to create a case. Before we do that, let's go take a look at Acumatica at that particular account. Click on ACAL. Once we do that, we notice under cases, there's nothing there yet. So we'll see that in a moment. Let's go back into our Outlook. And now we're gonna click Create Case. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put a class ID for it, which is not available in this case. It's probably internal questions for Acumatica. The severity is medium, all the things that I would put in for a case, and the subject line. I click Create Case. So now I have the case, and notice that you can view the case from here as well. Now I have a case in Acumatica. Going back to my original Acumatica, where we don't see it on the line for cases, by clicking the refresh button, I now see it's in the system. It's 10222. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of capabilities internally for Acumatica with the Outlook integration. And Outlook integration with Acumatica comes standard with the package. It's not an extra charge, doesn't take much to set it up, and it works very, very well once you've got it in place. Thank you for watching another Cortex Snack video. Subscribe below and find out more about how we can help you enhance productivity and increase your profits. Choose today to take control of your business. Unleash your potential and let your vision come to life with Acumatica. Find out more at Cortex.com.